welcome to the third edition of UIL Now. In this edition, we'll take a look at the Conference 5A Lone Star Cup trophy presentation to South Lake Carroll High School. We'll also introduce you to our new Coach's Corner. In this new section, we will hear from Sam Tipton, Texas Girls Coaches Association Executive Director. South Lake Carroll High School was presented with its 2012-2013 UIL Lone Star Cup trophy at its home football season opener last month. This trophy makes South Lake Carroll's fourth overall and second consecutive Lone Star Cup win. The Conference 5A school brought home state championship in boys and girls cross country and swimming and diving. The soccer team also contributed points as a state runner-up. South Lake Carroll earned a total of 122 points, making it the third highest in UL Lone Star Cup history. UIL Assistant Athletic Director Peter Contreras was on hand to present the school with its trophy. Congratulations to the South Lake Carroll Dragons. The Music Committee on the Legislative Council met on September 11th to discuss possible rule changes in preparation for the full Legislative Council meeting in October. In other music news, Mr. Richard Floyd, a longtime UIL music director, retired on September 1st. Over the summer, Floyd was one of 13 individuals inducted into the National High School Hall of Fame. Of 298 High School Hall of Fame members, Floyd became one of only three who has been honored for his contribution to fine arts. Floyd retires after 29 years dedicated service to the league. During this tenure at the UIL, Floyd implemented the online version of the prescribed music list and has facilitated the increase in participation of all music activities. Now, Dr. Bradley Kent will be the UIL music director. For the past year, he has served as the associate music director for the UIL. Throughout the year, he has been transitioning into the director position and officially took over on September 1st. Before coming to work at the league, Kent was the director of Fine Arts for Richardson ISD. The UIL would like to thank sincerely Mr. Floyd for his years of dedicated service and welcome Dr. Kent to his new role as UIL Music Director. With the new school year well underway, we have several deadlines coming up on October 1st. On October 1st, UIL membership fees are due to the league office. In academics, one act play enrollment is due. The CX debate deadline to hold planning meetings and district directors and academic coordinators names are all due again on Tuesday, October 1st. If you have any questions about deadlines, please call the UIL office today. Well, did you know that this month, October, is National High School Activities Month? The National Federation of State High School Associations created National High School Activities Week in 1980 to increase the public's awareness of the values of the interscholastic activity programs. A few years ago, it was expanded to an entire month. During this month, the nation's high schools are encouraged to promote the values inherent in high school athletics and other activities. The month is broken up into four weeks with a different focus on each week. Now, this year's focuses during the month consists of National Sportsmanship and Fan Appreciation Week, National Performing Arts Activities Week, National Coaches, Sponsors, Advisors, or Officials Week, and finally, National Community Service and Youth Awareness Week. The National Federation of State High School Associations has great ideas for different ways schools can celebrate each week during the month. Visit nfhs.org for more information. Student activity conferences are still going on across the state. All workshops are free of charge and no pre-registration is necessary. For more information, please visit the UIL website and don't forget to tweet or Instagram your pictures at UIL Texas using the hashtag UIL State. And now it's time for UIL Now's Activity Spotlight. This week's featured activity is Current Issues and Events. Added as a UIL sanctioned activity in 1988, Current Issues and Events has been a popular academic contest for more than 25 years. Current Issues and Events focuses on the basic knowledge of current state, national, or world events or issues and consists of 40 multiple choice questions and one essay. The essays are intended to assess the competitor's ability to synthesize and evaluate information and present it in an informed manner. In order to get ready for this contest, students have to keep up with the news, particularly during the time periods of September to May when the questions are being written. When students are evaluating what is major news, they focus on a few areas. Conflict, the U.S. presidency and U.S. politics in general, state election news, the deaths of prominent people, whether historical or artistic, science and health breakthroughs are often the subject of questions, and of course, unexpected breaking news that takes place right around that time. The purchase 
purposes of the purpose of this contest is to gain the knowledge to make sense of the world. Many current news situations are extremely complex if you don't understand the context and the news. Spending September through May reading newspapers and magazines, students get to know very well what all these issues mean. As the old saying goes, your opinions are only as good as your facts. Students who compete in current news and events will be able to have enough good facts to support their good opinions. Now let's take a look back at a sample question from last year's current news and events test. The question is, who is the United States Secretary of Defense? Is it A, John Kerry, B, Chuck Hagel, C, John Brennan, or D, Leon Panetta? Take a moment to think of the answer. Now, if you've chosen B, Chuck Hagel, then you are absolutely correct. Congratulations. If you are a student in the newspaper buff, talk to your teachers and visit UILtexas.org to find out more about participating in UIL's current issues and events. And good luck to all our competitors this year. Don't forget, if you have pictures of you and your classmates preparing for participating in current events and issues, tweet them at UILtexas using the hashtag UILstate. Now it's time for our first ever Coach's Corner. In this new segment, we will speak to a current or former coach who is involved with the UIL. For this edition, we sat down with Sam Tipton, Executive Director of the Texas Girls Coaches Association, to talk about the upcoming school year and what his organization does. Well, TGCA basically is a service organization for member coaches. And it was established because there was nothing out there to take care of the needs of the coaches girls athletics in the state of Texas. So we've been in existence about 63 years. You look at the umbrella of Texas Girls Coaches Association, we are an association for a coach of any girls athletics, including soccer and golf and tennis. Uh, we just encompass it all and try to do what's best for our coaches. Uh, and we have representation throughout the state in all sports, understanding committees, as a result, we feel like they speak for their own sport and we're able to relay that message to the University Interscholastic League, to the legislators, to the State Board of Education. Been very, very beneficial to, to any and all members. I feel like we're very privileged at, at TGCA and we offer, we offer a lot of suggestions and maybe we help in a few solutions. But. Thanks so much, Sam, for joining us on UIL Now. You can see more of Sam's interview on the UIL YouTube channel. Well, that's all for this edition of UIL Now. We will be back with more UIL news and information on October 7th. Please feel free to call the UIL office with any questions you might have. <laughs>